jumping music, boy. There's, there's five seconds. You'll never get back. Let's see the show. <laughs> I really uh, see how long you can run that for, right? Uh, what a test. Let's get into this. You know, I'm, in, I'm envisioning all kinds of crap on the other side of this for you guys about uh, why do you use the same pictures over and over? Why don't you be, if you want to look at pictures, you know, really go look somewhere else. I'm, I'm surviving right off of solar in a bunker kind of thing, having, having a great time. So chill out, guys. Let, let's see what we can do. Well, here, here we are in a pantry. It's always nice when this thing called Ka, K-A, knocks on the door and thrusts stuff at you, like them leaks and stuff. So I get handed, you know, this, this, really this. That's right. <laughs> a, a, like a half a bag of these pecan things here, right? That were uh, properly kept in the freezer. No, they're like, you know, they're like, they're a mess. I'm going to have to dehydrate them for long term. But anyway, there's enough for today's, uh, today's adventure now a quick pop over here to the shed and grab the that's right the ds 1.6 personal air this is the reason uh, I'm, I'm doing the air fryer is because i'm going to do it the same way i did uh this one now that one said uh you know milk chocolate and this one here is fudge brown i don't know i don't know but let's give it a go all right, going with this, you know, minimalist idea. How much can you really, you know, do you need? And plus the price of things and what you can make, like, ahead of time. All right, remember your safety note, but say it with me. Let's go to the lab and find out. So here on the bench, the difference between this one and the other one <clears throat> was the other one was one egg and one-third of a cup of oil. This is a half a cup of oil and two eggs. I figured out, oh, wow, let's see what, what kind of difference that makes. Really, I see the complaint, you know, probably something like this. Hey, where you didn't you didn't show us how to stir a bowl. Really, I, I, I stirred a bowl, I put it in one of those big baggy things, bags, Ziplocs, cut the end off, made one of them pastry bags, and squirted it into the deals. You know, oh, really? Hang on. All right, I could try some, some kind of spoon thing, but what a mess, really, really. Anyway. Here we are uh, with the uh, the try look, the alien pod thing. And a real nice blurry shot of me adding the walnuts. I should have did that while they were on the pan, but, you know, whatever. But, uh, this is a professional operation here, ladies and gentlemen. Why not? Let's, let's squish four together. See how that cooks. <laughs> we'll be right up front. This is not the picture of the ones we just baked. They look like the same, but they have walnuts inside, so it was like... I don't know, I deleted the picture or whatever. But anyway, now that picture was eight. It was really ten, right? Now going back to the, you know, price thing and all that, right? How much did it cost to do ten little mini cupcake pie things for yourself? Oh, going back to this minimalist thing, right? This latest batch was two eggs. The other one was one. This is a half a cup of oil. The other was one third of a cup of oil, and I get two more cakes out of all that. It doesn't seem that's the uh, the correct thing to do. So I, I got to give this, uh, uh, you know, not my favorite choice. Okay, minimalist one egg versus two, one third of a cup of oil versus you know really for two for two cake things, and of course I'm going to put them in uh, some in the refrigerator, some in the freezer. Nothing like getting out a freezer one and putting ice cream or whatever. Oh, nice. Very good. Remember the 80-20 rule? And also, uh, you know, 1929 living, crash living, uh, minimalist living. But, but using technology, dude, really, you know? We don't have to stir anything with a stick anymore or whatever, you know? We got solar, we got this, we got that, we got refrigeration. <laughs> we, we do have technology to do things today. <laughs> oh, I have a friend who never, ever, ever ate leftovers. All right. Now, it depends on what the leftover is. If it was in a fridge, whatever, different thing. But 
Come on, next day, the, the next day usage? Oh, this is gonna be quick, all right? I looked in the fridge, didn't have any macaroni. So, in the pressure cooker, macaroni goes just enough to cover. Four minutes in the deal, and bang, perfect macaroni comes out. The bowl contains the leftover, um, uh, wow, really, chili, chili uh, fry mix. So I took the chili fry mix and I mixed in some macaroni and voila, there's, there's lunch leftover deal. Don't, don't ask me why, but I, I get asked. I got asked, I'm sorry. Is this supposed to be funny or whatever? Uh, okay, no, not really. I'm just trying to show you that you can live at, at, at reasonable prices if you give it a go. This is all I'm saying. I mean, unless you sit down and eat eight of these damn cakes all at one time. Really? Come on. You know what I mean? Space out, have different stuff, have rice, have this, have some of my other crazy dishes. You know, get, give, give the world a go, you know? There, there may be a time here in the near future when, you know, creativity on eating uh, might be a good thing. So, uh, I hope we did okay. You know what to do. You know, like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Go back again. Later.